Hi guys, welcome to ZG Book It and Read. So today I am going to be reviewing book six of the Guild Hunter series by Nilani Singh. I will get this down to a T by the end of it, I promise you. So, um, as you suspected, I'm obviously building up to all of them, obviously with the new one coming out very soon. So, today I'm going to be reviewing Archangel's Legion. Mm. Yes, the cover is awesome. I think the artwork is really, really good. Like, all of them have obviously different coloured wings and everything like that, depending on which cover you go for, because there are two different types of artwork. I've only got the one, unfortunately. So... This book is back to Raphael and Elena, back to their story. Oh, there are spoilers. Now's the time to leave if you do not wish to know what is going to happen, or at least some of what is going to happen in obviously me rambling. Okay, seen the door or the window, jumped out of it or walked through the door? Yeah, good stuff. All right. So this is obviously a carry on of this is like the next step. Of Raphael and Elena's story. So they, they Li Juan, the Archangel of China, is going to try and invade Raphael's territory. You have an event called the Falling, which obviously you can gather by the title what kind of happens with that. And obviously a disease spreading around as well. So but I won't tell you who causes that. Is it Li Juan or is it someone else? Anyway, so good book yet again, obviously. Uh, well written. I actually really enjoyed this. I felt that it was quite a critical part of their story. So if it didn't have this, it might definitely be missing something. So I'm really glad that this one was written. I really enjoyed, um, obviously, some of the twists and turns that you got from it. And obviously, with Elena's progress and Raphael's progress and then others of the seven as well starting to come together. And then this whole battle for New York and everything was just be, it was just awesome. It was brilliant. And so it was, it was really, really well done. And I really enjoyed it. The spelling errors are yet again, few and far between, which is great. And the graphical errors are extremely less, which I really, really enjoyed. So, so um, yes, I'm going to read this. Um, so we've got Gothic. Yes. No, no, not really. Romantic. Yes. Definitely, yes. There is definitely romance in there. And a bit of Elena wanted to go stabby stabby on someone that you probably got from uh, Archangel's consort. So um, she was uh, the annoying person who was trying to get Raphael's attention. But Raphael only has Elena's attention. <sighs> yeah. So um, action packed. Yes. There are some brilliant fight scenes and everything in this book. So that are quite well detailed. Um, or at least detailed enough. For you, for your imagination to kind of take over, sort of thing. It also um, brings a little bit more attention to Jean Vier um, and Ashwini, and also a bit more of Nassar. All of us really, really enjoy Nassar. Um, funny, yeah, there are some funny bits in there. I definitely give you that. And sexy, well, most of them are, to be honest. <laughs> Just thinking about the characters, it's like, oh, have I got drool? That's what that feels like. But yeah, no, I have to admit, out of all the books, Ilium and Nassar, a little bit my favourite. A little bit. So, of course, obviously, chuck a little bit of Raphael in there, but you wait until there's another character that's older, but he doesn't come out yet. So I won't tell you who that is. Anyway, good book. Well written. We definitely recommend it. Yet again, as I advise, when it comes to a series, do not ignore the previous books. Yes, okay, if you start reading them and you start to struggle a bit, it does get better. I promise. Just stick with it, all right, and read it. And some of the books will make the whole series worth it. I promise you. And this is definitely one of them, okay? So stick with it. Read the others first before you read this one. Do not be one of those blaspheming people that skip the end, skip to the end. Oh, can't stand you. Anyway, so... I would definitely recommend it, obviously. I'm doing the whole thing again, aren't I, when I'm looking that way. Ignore it. Anyway, so definitely would recommend. I'm going to give this a ZG Book and Read. So deep the doom, doom scoring up. Nine out of ten. I know. Oh, 
Bokka horror, but I love it. It really is that good. There are probably, out of all the series, there are probably only another two that I would give that score higher to. <gasps> Which ones are there? I wonder. <laughs> well, you're going to have to wait until later for those. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend give this a read. If you don't, there's something wrong with your life. Joking. Anyway, yes, yeah, so give it a read. I'll speak to you guys later. I'm going to be posting a review a bit later tonight of The Sea King's Lady by S.C. E. Smith. So watch this space. If you follow on Facebook, please subscribe onto my channel and follow me here just to keep regular updates. And if you only currently follow me on YouTube, please find ZG Bookish and Read group on Facebook and follow that for any live reviews as you will need to follow that space for all live reviews as unfortunately my phone refuses to go live. Um, so when I go to do all these events and everything, go to meet authors and everything like that, you will need to follow my Facebook group to watch the live streaming. So if you have any questions for the authors and everything, please let me know beforehand. In two weeks time, I will be going to Rare 19 in London so I will be meeting authors, models, photographers, photographer models. So you'll probably know a few of them, like Johnny James. Um, and I'm going to say Wanger, but I can never say his surname right. He's going to have to teach me, so I'm going to ask him when I, when I meet him. <laughs> so we'll see if he'll even meet me now. Anyway, so I'm going to see you guys a bit later. I'm also going to be throwing things out a little bit tomorrow. And I'm going to start to reviewing one or two other authors that are going to be at Rare 19, such as Jenica Snow. So I'm hoping if I can convince Jenica to give me an interview, but I will definitely get her to sign some of my books. Um, so please pay attention to this space. I can't wait for you guys to give me any comments or suggestions of books below. At the moment, it's just a lot of short books and a few, one or two of the longer books. Um, I've got full length novels on my list, but I have a lot of people wanting review, so I'm just going to get my favourites done for now. Okay, so I'll speak to you guys later. Love you lots. Bye.